Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and this is going to be actually be a um, very different type of video. Um, a lot of people have been asking me after I've made the MySQL set of tutorials how to actually make a MySQL powered chat or some type of chat. So what I'm guessing you guys want to do is make your own chat client so you can talk with your buddies or whatever. So um, I totally, uh, I really do appreciate all the requests I've been getting about it, and uh, thanks a lot for being honest about what you actually want. But the thing is, I really don't know how to do this. So um, I thought it would be interesting to actually record myself uh, testing out these methods. This is what I do to learn everything. Uh, I just simply sit here, do some Google research, test out my methods until I finally get it, and then I normally make a tutorial on how to do it. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to try to create a MySQL powered chat um, using our MySQL database. Now before I actually started recording, I actually wouldn't do the MySQL database that we already have made. And um, I actually uh, figured out that somebody had changed the password. Seriously. Why? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, make a whole new one. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. And um, yeah. So um, just give me one second and I'll be back on. Okay, so uh, just a quick update. I have now created the new database uh, and updated the code accordingly, and now I'm going to recreate the tables. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, created all the tables and uh, actually created a user, which is myself. And uh, yeah, I give him this information if you <laughs> didn't already know. So now we're actually going to start constructing the chat part. Now what we're going to do is... Um, this program isn't going to be that advanced right now. I mean, I'm probably going to end up making a module out of this later. But what it's going to do is, uh, let me get, let me get some paint going here. So what it's going to do is it's going to have the client, which is right here, C for client, and then that is going to submit to the server uh, the username. Uh, that the user is that wants to talk and the username he wants to talk to. So the one that wants to get away the connection and the one that he wants to receive the connection. Sorry for this bad drawing, but I'm trying to explain this to you step by step. Um, and then once uh, once that happens, it's going to send an update to the server saying they are currently in chat. So it's going to say user is in chat with a different user. And then it's going to have another field for uh, message, right? Message. You, you get the point. Message. And then uh, the client is going to download this message and display it from the first user. And the second user will see that. And uh, yeah, that's the plan, but I don't think it's going to work out very well. So um, wish me luck here, and uh, let's begin making this program. Okay, so. First thing we're going to do is actually make a form for our chat, and we're going to put that right in the main management form. So we're going to need a button and a text box. This text box is going to be uh, text chat with, and then the button is going to say chat. Text is going to be chat with. Okay, so then once we double click on chat, it'll actually show the chat form which we're going to construct now. A Windows form this is going to be called chat. Okay, so now what's going to happen is uh, we're going to generally, when you have a chat, you have um, a larger text box gonna make it multi-line for this purpose and then you have a smaller text box where you can send your messages and then you have a send button so we're just gonna give this button send and um, we're gonna give this bottom text message to send and then this big one txt chat Okay, so it's pretty much all set up now, and um, yeah. 
So the first thing we want to do is actually create some public variables for this chat. So we're going to actually start a new region for these public vars. Uh, yeah, that's bad spelling. And uh, we're going to public uh, chat user as a string and public other chat user as a string. So this will be pretty much just uh, save the two chat users that are going to chat. And now we're going to uh, actually create a new table uh, using my SQL. And um, this is actually on my other monitor, so I'm just going to move that over. OK, here it is. So we're going to create a new table. And uh, this new table name is going to be chat. And the column is going to be user1. And then there's going to be user2. And then there's also going to be one more column called message. Uh, we'll make it message from user1. And we're going to create another column as well called message from user2. And then we're going to just set these. Defaults, we're going to uh, set some defaults here. I know we haven't done this in tutorials, but it's always good to set defaults. Okay, so we're going to press save. And it says this cannot have a default value, these text things, so I'm just going to delete the default value there. And then we're going to save. And uh, the table has been created. So we're going to go to the chat table. And I'm going to move it over to my other monitor, and I'm actually going to start programming. So we're going to say, uh, actually, first we're going to import the MySQL connector. And then we're going to start making a new new connection, which we have done. Um, um, well, before we start opening up this connection to actually receive the chat, we're going to set up the chat. So form three, when you press chat, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, we want to figure out where uh, username is actually stored, which I don't know if we already set this up. Okay, we're actually going to create a new setting called username. And uh, so when somebody logs in, it's going to... Um, Set that setting to their username. And that's going to equal uh, text box one dot text, which is what we uh, put the username in. And then so when we chat, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new connection. That is going to be update chat. Uh. Insert into chat. And we're going to define what we want to insert. Which is going to be user one, user two, message from user one, message from user two, and uh, values of. First of all, we need user one, so we're going to say and mine settings username, and um, and uh, user two. We're going to do txt 
chat with dot text and uh, if you don't know what I'm doing like this type of syntax you should probably watch my other tutorials but yeah Okay, so we got these SQL query going, so now we're going to create a new command. And an adapter. And then we're going to um, open the connection and uh, do the command. Hopefully there's no errors because we're just going to go right to the form, the chat form, and we're actually going to set chat dot uh, user no. I forget what the variables we set were. Chat user equal to my dot settings dot user name and uh, the other one we set was other chat user. Equal to uh, text chat with dot text. And then we're going to show chat. And once chat is loaded, uh, this should be good. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to edit the table a little bit because I forgot to uh, add an ID field. So I'm just going to drag this over and uh, we're going to add one column at the beginning of the table. And there's actually going to be ID, which is a INT, 255, uh, auto increment. Okay, so that should be good. Now, uh, now we can actually start setting up the uh, part where we receive messages and stuff. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually set up a timer and a background worker. So we're going to add a timer to our project and a background worker to our project. And this timer is actually going to um, check every... 10 seconds for a new message and the background worker is going to be actually checking for the message so first thing we want to do is we want to start it up and uh, actually get the message so dem sql query a string equal to and we're going to also create another A string to select everything from chat where we need user one one two equals and uh, this is chat user and uh, yeah so that should work and then we need to create a command again adapter we're going to open the connection and set the adapter Oop. we're going to create a data and data equals con no command dot execute reader and we're going to go down here and close data and uh, it's actually supposed to be changed to reader and close the connection. Good. And so 
If it returns no errors, it'll be good. 